space okay so welcome to another discussion in our engineering data analysis class uh, this moment we will be discussing about uh, planning to conduct a survey the steps of um, how to conduct a survey so first we will be um, defining what is survey specifically what is a survey research so the survey research means collecting uh, information about a group of people by asking them uh, questions and analyzing the results so it is the very uh, basic type of research and it is very useful so it is how our government knows the opinion of the people it is also how the politicians know the if they are winning the election so if you if if you have um, been to if you are if you manage to vote on the last election so you can you can remember that there is this so called um, the so called SWS survey in which for example surveys so for example if uh, for, for example in that survey it says that um, Duterte will get 49% of the votes then I believe it is Po which is on the second one which is 35% then Rojas which is somewhat uh, lower than we have Binay so basically this is a survey and this is done using uh, by collecting information on people by by questioning them, them and analyzing the results so this is how survey uh, research works so what are the uses uh, the uses of survey research okay so first uses so in social research so it is useful on social research investigating let's just correct our spelling letter on So we have first is social research so it involves investigating the experiences and characteristics of different social groups so for example if um, we have a survey uh, which tells about if the person or if a certain group of person for example the um, the persons on the on the poverty line if you are going to have a survey if how they will rate the government on its action uh, during the COVID-19 so that is a type of survey research
Okay, next we have market research. So finding out what customers think about products, services, and companies. So this is usually done um, uh, of in some um, businesses or in some brands in which they are trying to know or trying to um, see how a certain product or how their product perform in the market. For example, um, they will have a claim that they are the number one beauty soft, the most effective beauty soft according to uh, 1,000 respondents. So that is a type of mark market research. So the importance of having a market research is the company or the maker of the product will know if if they need something to be done to the product in order for the product to perform well on the market or or they have already done more that their product is um is the so-called click is clicking on the market um the very basic example of this one is if you are uh, if you are watching uh GMA and ABS-CBN. So there is the so-called uh, the uh, call that the survey on which of the two stations are being watched by people. So there is uh, they have the so-called Greater Luzon area, Greater Manila area. Then then Jamie will say that thirty percent of the of the people in the Greater Manila area will, is watching the shows of GMA, then the ABS-CBN will say that the 40% oh, the of the people of the greater zone area is watching ABS-CBN. So that is a type of market research. Next we have health. So health research, so is collecting data from patients about symptoms and treatments. So uh, now we have the so-called um, uh, vaccine in which we are in the phase three, I believe the vaccine for COVID-19 which is on the phase three. So one way of collecting data in order to gauge the effectiveness of the vaccine is to having health research, which includes a survey. So you are going to first question what uh, after the vaccination or af after the a certain patient is uh, injected with the vaccine what is his uh, feelings does he have uh, cer certain symptoms or certain uh, side effects that he feels so that is a survey research so that is a survey research done in the field of health so that is um, how survey research is done then next we have politics we have uh, politics so we are measuring the public opinion about parties and policies so we have the so-called um, approval rating of the president and we have the surveys during the election just, to, uh, just like what I said I, earlier the SWA survey so that is a type of survey research done in the field of politics
you have also um, psychology, so survey research done the field of psychology, so it, it is researching personality traits, preferences, and behavior. So um, the most effective way to um, to know if a certain person has a mental disorder is through questionnaire, and that is part of a survey research. So that is so that's that is the reason why uh, survey research is very useful in um, in the field of psychology. Okay, so now we will go to the um, steps on the steps on conducting a survey or a survey research so first we will we will go to determine who will participate on the research okay so the first one the first step on the steps on conducting or planning a survey research is to determine who will participate on the research so you must first know what who are your respondents for example if your study concerns on the the number of or how the students um how the students uh, or what are the students outlook towards online class so you must determine who are those students so you cannot uh, give a survey or a questionnaire to, to the students who who have not um, opted to go to online class because it will not be um, within the scope or it will not answer your research problem so that's why you need to the first step is to determine who will participate in the research part of this one is knowing how many for example if you're going to get 10% of the population so if there is 1,000 of them so 10% of 1,000 is 100 so that is so-called a random sampling so you need to get 100 respondents of that uh, for that research okay next is to Okay, so you need to decide the type of survey so that is the second step so either it could be by mail so you will send the questionnaire online through online platforms or in person so you are going to talk in person you're going to give the questionnaire so that is uh, the second step so decide the type of survey we have the, sec the third one is to design the layout the questionnaire and the layout of the questionnaire so you must um, know what is inside uh, of the questionnaire so your question must be part of your research so I believe you have uh, done a survey during your as in your high uh, days so that is uh, and you know how to to have a question that is related to your research okay so next we will go to distribute the survey 
So distribute the survey. So you, you will now do the distributing the survey. Then after that, after distributing, you will collect. So this fifth step is to analyze the responses in which you are going to analyze the responses using the uh, the different methods of data analysis then the last one is to write up the result or to make a write up or to make a document of your results and findings so that is how the is the steps on conducting and also on planning a survey research okay so that will be all for this discussion so thank you for watching this video so i just type the the definitions and our topics uh, just type everything so that uh, there, there will be no confusion with my penmanship so again thank you for watching this video and as always keep on studying